So, okay, so we're recording. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to um, do a complete training on campaigns, on send out card campaigns. Campaigns are going to um, uh, automate your business. Campaigns are gonna ensure that you don't, if you screw up everything else, if you get your campaign built, uh, with send out cards, something is going to show up at a designated time, um, a certain number amount of touches over the next 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, depending on how long you build your campaign out. So I'm going to, first of all, I apologize. I, um, I went right from prospecting right into this. So I apologize um, and I have way too many uh, tabs open. So I'm gonna close out my tabs real quick and then we're gonna jump right into send out cards and we are gonna go right into the campaign section. Before we start, does anybody have any questions? Any questions? Is anybody using is anybody using their campaigns right now? No, okay, I know. Um, you know, send out cards, we really, I'll tell you, we really spotlight heartfelt cards because it's kind of the heart of send out cards, right? We're a heartfelt company, we're a kindness company, but, and I think that's awesome. But this is just the truth. And now, especially even um, post, you know, pandemic is people have even less time. So I really want to encourage you to consider like this weekend after you're watching this day, if you're live or the next weekend after you watch it, carve out a couple of hours, literally just two hours, maybe three hours, maybe an hour to watch this training and then take action. Block it out, turn your phone off, get rid of the kids and the spouse or whatever, get rid of the animals and just build your campaign, build one campaign. And I'm gonna give you some things to think about today. What is, what's gonna get you the biggest bang for your buck? And I was working on this with Sandra yesterday, really thinking like, okay, what could you build as a campaign that it doesn't matter who you assigned it to, it would work. So let me tell you what I was thinking, because think about we have new prospects, we have existing prospects. So people, maybe you've been nurturing for six, eight, 10, 12 months, maybe longer. You have current clients you have past clients, you have um, family, you have people who are in organizations with you, you have um, your strategic alliances, your strategic partners. So you have a lot of different columns of or pillars of people. And so I started thinking yesterday, what campaign could you build that if you started it today, or you started it tomorrow, it wouldn't sound weird with your first card, okay? So I started working on that and I wanna show you what I did, but I'm gonna first, we're gonna do just a quick overview of the campaign feature, of the campaigns that you have available to you and how to edit that campaign, start a campaign. We're gonna do that first and then at the end, I'm gonna give you an idea of how you can start your very first campaign that literally can go to anyone, okay? So um, I'm going to share my screen and we're gonna log into our send out card account. Obviously this is gonna be way easier. You're gonna to wanna to do this. Um, on your desktop, it's gonna be a lot easier. We're gonna jump right into campaigns. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give us a quick little tutorial, a little, a little um, a tour through the My Campaigns, the purchase campaigns and the store campaigns 
uh, columns so do, that we just know what the campaigns are. So I want to start in the store. Okay, so we're going to start in the store. These are the campaigns that um, Send Out Cards has created for us. They did a first impressions campaign. All right, and I want to show you real quick. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and um, the okay, well, this is good. I'm glad that I just figured this out. So it says first impressions. Um, this is a campaign that will cost you $99 plus some tax. And for those of you who have the system package sent, you paid $3.97 for it. It says that you get all of the campaigns for free. Well, this particular campaign is not included in that offer. So I'm glad we actually just figured that out. But this is available to you. And it's a really great, I actually purchased it before, so I'm going to show you what this campaign looks like. But the rest of the campaigns are either going to be a charge or, as I said, if you're on the system package send, it's a $397 add-on package, you actually have access to any of the pre-built campaigns um, that send out cards created. They cover about every industry that you can imagine. Automotive, beauty, construction, dental, finance, fitness, general business, general or generic personal inside sales, insurance, landscaping, legal, medical, mortar sports, network marketing, pet care, physical therapy, real estate, retail sales, <laughs> SOC, your BNI, your networking group, spa and massage. Any of these card campaigns that have been created, um, you can either purchase individually or my recommendation is to add that system package send and then every single one of them is free. And this is what I love about this offer. These cards are awesome. Okay, these are the, 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 the design of them is beautiful. You obviously have the ability to uh, edit, which I'm gonna show you how you can do that. You have the ability to delete cards, add cards. But what's really neat about this is some of these cards that were created for a landscaping business to use. Let me just actually open this up. Aren't they pretty? Like, I don't even care. Like, let's just say you don't have a landscaping business, but maybe you have a client that's an avid gardener. Or maybe you have a client that is um, in that business. Like maybe they own a nursery or maybe they own, maybe they own a landscaping business. Maybe they just, maybe they just love it. Or maybe you just have someone that this is just, isn't that a cool card? We won't be leave how great we can make your yard look. Now that is for someone that's in the business, right? But my point of sharing how valuable these campaigns and how there's multi uses with them is really important. And it's gonna be a long-term strategy that I'm gonna train in this on how to um, not only use these cards kind of um, uh, to uh, attract people that are in this industry to be your strategic alliances, but for some of them that are just really pretty cards, like, hey, thanks for all your support. That could be for anything. Maybe they supported you in a business venture. Maybe they supported you in an idea. Maybe they supported you when you were just going through a tough time. That's a really sweet card. And if I just click buy, because I have the system package, this campaign's free to me. So I just click buy and then watch. I now go back up to purchased campaigns. I'm gonna do a quick refresh here. And that campaign is now gonna show up in my purchase um, column. Now, this is what's really cool. You pay the three um, on the system package send you pay the 395 every year. So it's good for 12 months. 
um, and you get the 300 cards, but this is what's really awesome. Let's just say you didn't want to do the system package next year. Don't know why you would, because that's a great deal for 300 cards. But let's just say you decided not to. If you purchased any one of those campaigns, and there's hundreds of them in there, if you purchased any of them as part of that deal, they still stay. You get access to them forever. Okay. So um, I'm going to, since I think most of us on this call are in some sort of real estate realm, what I am going to do is I'm going to now show you if I go in under my campaign. Sorry, let me show you one more thing and then I'm going to go into this. Under my campaigns, these are going to be the campaigns that I have created myself. These are my personal campaigns that I've created. But you're going to look here and you're going to go, but wait a minute, this, this looks like the cards that are in the, in the um, real estate campaign. They are. And I'm going to show you how I actually took a purchase campaign or a store campaign um, I got it, either I paid for it or it came included with my system package upgrade. And now it's in my purchased column, but how I can now actually take that purchase done for me campaign and I can actually edit it and make a custom campaign out of that. So let me show you how I, how I did this and how I got this over into my campaigns, which are some I've created um, through Canva, some I've um, gotten shared with me. That's the other thing that's really awesome with these campaigns. We can share them. Now, what you can't do is you cannot create a campaign out of the paid campaigns and share it with somebody who hasn't paid for it or isn't on the system package. OK, so you can't share campaigns because obviously they're you have to pay for them to get them. Right. So um, but you're going to see I've got lots of different campaigns. I've created one card campaigns. I've created multi card campaigns. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well today. So before I go into the next segment of this, are there any questions about what comes in the store? how you get them under your purchase tab, and what does a custom My Campaign mean? Any questions? No, and I'm gonna open my little chat box here just to see if there's anything. Okay, so there's nothing. So feel free, honestly, to just even unmute yourself and just say, Cheyenne, I have a question, or feel free to um, type in the chat box or write them down. We are gonna do a Q&A. So um, it's, we'll make sure you get your questions answered. But if you're like me, sometimes you just need to blurt them out and that's okay. So um, I have gone into the store. I've either purchased them or I've gotten them free because I have the system upgrade. I'm now gonna go in under my purchased um, column. And now I have all of these uh, campaigns all showing up and I want to, use them to be able to set up my uh, a campaign for my clients, uh, my sphere, my network. And um, I want to use, I'm gonna, going to use, where is my real estate? I've got a real estate five touch that I want to use. Real estate prospecting five touch. So let's do this one and you, you um, have two buttons here, and I'm going to explain the difference between them. View details actually shows you what this campaign is, okay? So it's going to show you that it's a five-card campaign. It shows you what the different cards look like, and when I hover over them, the reason I'm hover, I can hover over them and they move is because it means I can do something with them, okay? It shows you when they're gonna go out. All of this, remember, is all editable and all customizable. So just because it says this card is going to go out immediately, doesn't have to remain that way. I'm gonna show you how we can change that. So it shows us we've got five cards, shows us when they're gonna go out. It shows we've got one that's gonna go out for a birthday. Um, it also shows that the card that's the December 20th card 
has a paper upgrade. So everything else is going to come in the standard finish, but it's showing you that the December 20th card has an upgraded um, paper in it. Um, I don't see any gifts here. So there's no gifts tied to this initial campaign, which again, I can edit that if I want to add a gift with one of these. So the um, I'm going to X out of here. So that is the details of this campaign. Now, if I want to open the campaign, now I can go in and I can see each card. I can click on and edit the card. I can view the card. Okay, so I can just go through and I can see what this card looks like. I can actually, at this point, I can edit this card in this frame, but I wanna show you a way to simply go in, let me go back, close. I wanna show you how you can take this order, you can leave it exactly the same, or you can customize it and you can attach it to one person, multiple people. There's a lot of um, functionality within campaigns that um, is some redundancy. You're gonna see redundancy in things. And the best way to kind of just get your feet, your bearings is to just get in there, click around, edit, save, click buttons. There is you, you can't hurt anything because the great thing is you can always delete. You can always start over. So I encourage you to get in and just click around. So let's start with, I have this real estate prospecting and I want to send five cards to this group or to whoever I attach to this campaign, but I wanna make some changes to it. So you're gonna see a couple of things down here. I can do a create or I can do a new campaign. Think of new campaign is as copying this campaign, okay? So I'm either going to create this one and I'm going to edit it or I can create this and I can make a copy and I can make it exactly what I want, but I didn't alter the original. Think of this as the original campaign. This is how you can copy and edit it and now you've got a copy of it. It could be the same, but maybe you have a few tweaks, but you don't want to um, you don't want to alter the original. That's kind of the best way. Brenda, am I explaining that um, kind of from your understanding? Yes. Okay, great. So, um, and it took me a bit to kind of get that, right? Like the create is the original, even though you can make edits to it. New campaign is basically, I want to make a copy and this is what I'm going to edit it one time. And this is going to be kind of the new one that I use for this group of people or for this, um, you know, um, for this group of people or groups of people. So for this example, what I'm going to do is I want to take the bones. Probably this is the best way. I want to take the original. I want to take the bones, but I want to put my own little, um, I want to put my own edits and I'm gonna change some cards. I'm gonna show you how you can add some cards, how you can delete cards. And this will be a new campaign all on its own. So I'm gonna select all and um, I'm gonna click new campaign and I'm gonna name it. Um, I'm gonna do it um, real estate prospecting um, all. Now, let me tell you why I'm putting all because I'm gonna actually build this campaign that even though it says it's a prospecting campaign, actually this campaign could go out to anybody, an old prospect, a new prospect, and I'm gonna click submit. All right, so now I'm in the campaign 
And this is where I can go in and I can customize each card. I could actually delete the card. I could add cards to it. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of those things in, um, in the creation of this campaign. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I want to look at what is the card that they're saying is gonna go out immediately. And this is the immediate card. I can go in here and I can either view it and just kind of get an idea of what it looks like, but I'm gonna just go straight to edit. And I'm gonna go right up here and I'm gonna edit the card. So in my mind, I want this very first card, this is going to go out to prospects. Um, but it, I want it to be relevant for future prospects that I get. So if I attach a new person to this campaign, or maybe I have like right now, I have like probably a thousand prospects in my database and I want to start them in this card campaign, but I don't want it to be weird, right? I don't want it to sound like, well, wait a minute, you've been sending me houses for the last year. What do you mean? Of course, we already know each other. I just haven't done business with you yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this card. I'm gonna click my panel view. So the panel view span view, let me tell you what that does. If I click panel view, it's gonna bring that first side of the card. And then if I scan, it's gonna to go to the next side. But I can either look at it in panel view or span view. When I'm editing, I just because it's small, it's kind of hard to see, you can do a couple of things. You can go right up here in the corner, see where the dots are. I can actually zoom my screen, I can make my screen bigger so that I can I can see it. Or if I wanna just be able to see it, I can click on the panel view, okay? So again, what do I have as far as abilities to be able to do in here? Well, um, and Sandra and I were kind of talking about this yesterday, if I'm starting a card campaign and I've not sent cards to these people before or I've not done the mailbox touch, this is going to be my first time establishing a mailbox touch with these people, no matter who they are, I might want my card um, to have a little bit more about me only in this first card because it's kind of this still this introduction and Sandra and I were talking about this yesterday, and I want to show you what I started kind of working on. Um, I, I did a, again, a generic um, mail merge, and I'm going to show you that because, again, you want to just be able, once you've built this campaign, you want to be able to just attach the person to the campaign and let it ride, let it go. And you may want some customization, some personalization to it. And so we send out cards has built these wonderful little mail merge fields in here. So if I'm building the campaign that's going to lots of different people at lots of different times, it could be in bulk, it could be singularly, but I want them to be personalized to them. I am going to use a mail merge now. Sometimes we have two people, maybe it's a husband and wife, maybe it's a husband and husband, a wife and wife, right? Maybe we have multiple people and, but I don't know. So I don't want first name, spouse name, and then there's not a spouse or there's not an other. So what you could maybe do is, hey, last name clan, right? And again, you can play with this. You're going to find something. I'm really just more showing you this so that you think about how do you want to address them? So if I wanted to send this to the, you know, to Sandra Richard, right? It could be, hey, Richard clan, even if it's one person, right? Because she maybe, maybe she's got some fur babies or something, right? Maybe she's got some nieces, nephews, whatever. I think this can generically cover people. But I said, this is going to be my first touch with them. Yes, it's your favorite realtor showing up in your mailbox. Hey, I love the old school way of staying in touch. So I hope you're as excited to get something in the mail besides the normal junk bills. 
Besides the communication you will get from me on social media, email, and the occasional phone call, you will get some fun things throughout the year in the mailbox, and it won't always be about real estate. Whether we are meeting for the first time or we've known each other for years, and that's kind of where I stopped yesterday. But I was wanting to make that first card kind of an establishment card of what they can expect from me in the future in the mailbox. Okay, now you might choose to do it a little bit differently, but setting up a campaign and doing a little bit of more work on the front end is going to allow you, if you put that front end in that thought on how to build this campaign that really could go to anybody, once you get it built, it's just assigning the people that you have currently that need it, and then attaching new people as a new person comes into your life, you add them into send out cards, you add on the campaign, and out it goes, and they're set for the next 12 months, 24 months, however long you build it. Does that make sense? So, any questions? Nothing yet. Okay, good. Okay, so I've gone through my card. Remember, front, I can't, oh, well, look, actually, I can actually even change the front of that card. Now, this is a real estate campaign. So I'm choosing that campaign because I actually kind of like the cards. So it probably doesn't make sense to really change something on this card, um, but you can. But for this purpose, I'm not going to change the card. Um, I can click here. Remember, I can change my background if I wanted to have, uh, uh, hold on just a second, let me go to the view here. I could put in a photo here, right? So maybe, again, depending on what industry you're in, I might want to, let me do this. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to go down here to this one. Let me copy this here, paste. So here's my message. And I want this centered here. Maybe up here, I decide that I want to put in a photo of me in my, um, in work, okay? Or whatever industry you're in, okay? So I might, for this very first card, do something that might be a little bit more business focused. Maybe it's me with my strategic partners, right? Maybe you do something fun with your strategic partners because that's one of the things, one of your communications that you're going to be sending out in your cards is maybe introductions to, to professionals, you know. Maybe you um, do um, an annual event or maybe you do pot buys or whatever it is you do. This first card could be a really good card that's going to kind of lay out what you do for them, how you're going to communicate it going forward in the future. So I want you to kind of think about that as you're putting together your ideas of what you want these cards to do and say. This is the other thing. <clears throat> I kind of have two thoughts about things. Nobody sends cards anymore. Very few people. So the simple fact that you send a card in and of itself is going to stand out to the person. And so with that said, you don't have to overcomplicate things. A simple birthday card, a simple thank you card, a simple I'm just thinking of you card, a simple appreciation card, a simple Christmas card, happy spring card. But with that said, there's also an opportunity to maybe make some of these cards like that they couldn't even put it down. Maybe it's something that's so interesting about how you can help them, how you can serve them, that they're like, wow, you know, she's entertaining, she's informative, she cares. So I think there's a nice healthy blend of both, meaning I can take a card, put some time, there might be some things that you're gonna share about your business. And then, 
three of the cards are all about them. Merry Christmas. Thank you for meeting with me. So again, kind of giving you some ideas as you're putting your campaign together. But I've decided that I want this home picture. I've got whatever I'm gonna put up here. I've got my message to them. I've got my signature or my name down here, right? I go to the back and I'm gonna decide what um, back do I want on this. Now again, this is what's really interesting and where I want you to take some time. Do I want on that first card that's going to go out to them that I'm establishing my relationship or even if you've been sending them cards, but now you want them really on an automated touch system. I might want this first um, back that's going to go out on this campaign, maybe to be a little bit more businessy, maybe. Um, let me do this. Let me come over here. Here's my back. So let me choose an existing. Dan and Dan Culver. If you, if you, um, whatever back you decide to put on here, pick it. Okay. So let's just pretend I decide for my first back on this cards. This is the this is the back I want. Now I created this for Thanksgiving. So I'm probably not gonna make this my first back. I'm probably, honestly, if it's me, I'm probably gonna do my lifestyle one or I'm gonna do a business one, okay? But I now have my back. I've got the inside of this card done. It's all done. I'm gonna click update. And now it's going to let me preview the card, okay? So it's, um, let me click, sorry, here, here. Why isn't it showing me the inside of the card? Hmm, that's weird. I wonder if it's just the, um, what it will normally do is it's gonna show you your two inside panels. So maybe there's just something, it's just something funky going on either with my computer or something, but it's gonna let you see it. If you want to make any more adjustments, you can make your adjustments, but I've updated it. And now when I close it, this card has been changed. Now, let me also show you, um, let's just say now I'm not suggesting that you would do this because your first card should go immediately, right? But you could go in here and I'm going to show you on these other cards, you can change the card type. You could change the paper type. You can send, you can change when the prop, when the card goes out. You could add a gift to it. So let's just say I wanted to establish this campaign that the very first card that went out, maybe it includes a little gift. Maybe you send them a couple of brownies for each new person that you start on this campaign. The point is, is that I could go ahead and add a gift to this. Hold on just a second, add a gift. Let me go right here. Let's just, for this example, let me just show you what it would look like. We all love the two pack brownies. So let me just add the brownies on here. Now, look, now my card has been edited. I've added a gift to it and it's all set on this first card, okay? Now, the next card that goes out is gonna go in six months according to this. Now, again, it doesn't have to. Um, you've got then one in 12 months. You've got one that's gonna hit on their birthday and you've got one that's gonna hit at Christmas. Now, I don't want you to overthink like, well, what happens if in 12 months it's December and what happens if their birthday's in December? And they so they're going to get their 12-month card in December. They're going to get their birthday card in December. And they're going to get their Christmas card in December, right? They're going to just get crazy carded in, in Christmas. Well, it's kind of all relative. If their birthday's in December, then they need to get a birthday card anyway. 
The only thing that you might want to do is if the 12 months somehow coincides with something else in here, then maybe this is a, um, you know, in our business, the 12 month is the home anniversary possibly. But maybe it's just a 12 month card that is just a reminder of who you are and I'm showing up. I don't want you to overthink three cards showing up in one month and you're like, oh my gosh, because of this, we can still fill in with our heartfelt cards. And that's why the campaigns, the system sends, fit so beautifully with the heartfelt. So that if you see that some of these cards might all kind of hit maybe in the same month, a couple of them, which means you've got up maybe more months that don't have anything. What I'm going to encourage you to do is to put yourself a reminder in your prospecting. So whether it's in your calendar, however you set yourself up as a reminder, I would set something up in your calendar that says send heartfelt card to Mary. And then you know that if they're getting a couple of cards, they're card heavy in a month, you have filled in some of the blank months with a heartfelt and make it fast and make it simple. Just thinking of you, hope you're doing well. If I can ever do anything for you, don't, don't hesitate to pick up the phone or call me, right? Make it super simple out the door, it took you two minutes. Point is I've had people ask me, well, what happens if they get three cards in a month? Awesome, they're gonna know you just adore them. Right? Okay, so I have just edited this card. I go to my next card and I'm going to do again the same thing. Do I like this card? Do I need to change the inside of it? Do I need to change the messaging of it? Whatever you need to do, you can change the when it goes out. You can change the paper. I can delete it if I don't want this card in here. I actually can go in and if I go edit, I can actually replace the card. So let me do that. Let's replace this card. And I can replace this card with either a card collection. So a, 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 you know, a catalog card. Maybe I want to do a just because card here. Okay. Hey, it's okay to not be okay. I'm just here to say that. Now, that's not just a just because. I might do something just a little bit more like um, maybe not seasonal because I don't know when it's going to show up. I might just do um, you bring sunshine to my life or maybe just a sweet little whatever. Today's good mood is sponsored by coffee. Just something fun. But I'm going to just click the coffee card. Again, I'm going to go in and customize it. I'm not going to get real fancy for this demonstration. It's going to go into my card. I'm going to customize the message in it, right? I'm going to do something now yours can be too. I might do a fun photo of just something that happens within maybe a past client party. Maybe when I did a drop in, maybe it's a picture of a client that's closed on a home. Um, um, or maybe it's just blank and you do just a quick message. Hey, again, down here, maybe you, you, however you want to do it, if you want to do first name, last name, spouse name, or the, or bo both, or hey, such and such, last name, family, clan, message. I was just thinking of you. Simple, thinking of you. Hope you are well. I am always here if you need anything best Cheyenne okay again I'm going to go to the back now maybe I want to trade out my backs if it's me and I'm scheduling five or six cards in here I want a different back for each one okay because I want them to look at it I want them to look, and if you send the first two cards and the back is the same, you know, maybe they, whatever, right? They do this, and but if I want to maybe let them remind them, this one's a little bit more businessy, or if this is a spring card, I might have created 
a Canva spring card of me planting my garden or me doing something in my flowers or me that's tied to whatever spring is. Maybe it's a spring hike. Maybe it's a spring trip to Ireland. Maybe it's whatever, right? But don't waste the opportunity to maybe do something really cool on that back. The point is, is I can go in here. My first back was the living one, me at the beach. This one might be a little bit more businessy. And now I click right down here and I click replace. All right. I'm going to go, okay, I replaced it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to go here. Now look, remember this used to be that card. Now it's this card. Still Diana, going? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Can I, can, can you please expand on what branding goes with what kind of card? It, I mean, I get what you were just saying about the spring versus the business, mm -hmm. but it's just so difficult. It's really actually difficult for me to, because I really don't believe in being brandy brandy on most of the cards. Yes. And I, can you, t can you go over what your thoughts are and what your, what your mindset is? Um, on your backs per yes. person. Thanks. Yes, absolutely. Great, great question. And again, let me just say this. Branding to everyone is different. Um, some people's branding is business, 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 business. Some people have figured out how to speak business within messaging. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Let me go back to let me go back to my card here. Let me um, edit the card. And I want you to look at the back of my card that I did. That's a business back, okay? Cheyenne's my realtor. But it doesn't scream home. It screams life, beach life. I sell homes at the beach, right? So to me, that, and I call it kind of more my lifestyle branding, right? Where I'm still, they can still see here that I've, you know, that, that this is my real estate stuff. And this is why I think it's really important as we're, when we're sending our cards out, whether it's individually or whether it's um, through a campaign. But if you're sending multiple cards to people, I think it's really, I think it's beneficial to change the backs of the cards and if you do something that might be a little more businessy, like this one, like this to me, in it from my perspective, um, choose existing. This card to me, um, right? Where's my there? This one. That's businessy to me. Market expert, technology focused, experience matters, right? Like that's business. I think it's okay to every once in a while throw one of those in. But most of the backs of my cards will either be around an event I'm in. It'll be my Christmas. Maybe it's my Christmas family picture. Maybe it's, it's me. Again, I gave an idea of traveling. Maybe you did a travel um, you know, uh, and you could still tie it into home. Hey, you know, my trip to Ireland was amazing but it was so good to get home, right? Like there's still things that you could tie into your branding, which is reminding them that you deal in homes or you deal in health and wellness or you deal in financing or you deal in gardening or landscaping or whatever it is that your industry is. But I think when we tie our business message into that lifestyle message, I think that's why people get so, um, I think that's what attracts people. So, and, and Kathy Salinas, it isn't easy. That's why it takes some time to really think of two things. People still don't care about us really, right? They don't care about what service until they need it. And so the messaging still needs to be about them. So what is it that you're stating in your branding that helps them, that serves them? 
A hundred percent. Thank you. You're right. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and frankly, in these cards, I always say the inside is about them. So we've already said what's about them on the inside. And maybe even the front of the card is about them. Maybe it's a birthday. It's an anniversary. Just thinking of you lifting up your spirits, right? Insides about them. The back is going to be a, a nice, healthy blend of business and, and relational. If you do something on the inside of the card that is about business, 10%. So if you're sending five or six cards to them, maybe one card on the inside maybe is a little bit more business. And I just gave you that example of, let me just change this real quick. In my card, when I was telling them here on this one, the first card that they got from me kind of was a little more businessy, but it was really just telling them how I was going to serve them what they could expect from me. So it's business, but it's how I'm going to impact them or how I'm going to serve them in business. Does that make sense? And it will be different for everyone. It's going to be, it's going to be different, Kathy, from what you do. Like, I, this is what I love about you, Kathy. You are the freaking queen of Rose Street. I'll never, like, I created your branding for you, from at least from my perspective. When I introduce you, when I'm talking to leads and I know that Kathy's going to get one of my referrals, I that's what I call her. I'm like, I'm going to refer you to the Queen of Rose Street. And they're like, oh, what's that? I'm like, ma'am, that girl, she doesn't wait for homes to hit the market, wait on MLS, have you compete against 70 other people. Heck no. She gets on Rose Street and she starts knocking on doors. I think that would be such a fun branding. What are you the what are you the queen of or the king of that serves your community, your your client? I think there's so many fun things, Kathy, you could do with your back. I mean, for God's sakes, you door knock. I think you need a cute little picture of you with your cute little basket walking down the street and knocking on doors, right? Queen of Rose Street. Or an old fashioned door knocker. Or an old fashioned door knocker, right? Like there's so many cool things, but I want to encourage you with your campaigns, put some thought into it of what's going to go into those four or five or six cards. What backs do you want? I'm, I'm, I'm giving you ideas and I'm showing you functionality at the same time. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, let's say I want to add a card, right? So I'm like, okay, here's five cards, but I want to make this a six card campaign. So they're going to get a Christmas card. They're going to get a birthday card. Maybe I want to change their birthday card, right? Maybe I want, I don't, maybe I don't want everybody to get this birthday card. I can go in and change the birthday card. Um, if I'm a real estate agent, maybe I want to swap this card out for the home anniversary card, right? So I would go in, I wanna replace the card and let's do home anniversary. Oops, let's spell anniversary, right? Home anniversary. Let's see if it, we get something that comes up. Um, okay, so in this, Sorry, let's cancel this. In this one, let me make a recommendation for real estate agents. If you want to include a home anniversary card, then what I'm going to encourage you to do is to use the beginning campaign that actually has the home anniversary card in it. Does that make sense? Because this one doesn't have it unless, unless you did this. You went into Canva, right? Canva.com. And you created your own custom home anniversary. So maybe you go in here, you do my invitation portrait. I do a really sweet little picture of a house on the front, 
right? Here's my photos, home. Let's just see what pops up. Here's this, I slide this on here, whoops. Ah, sorry, having sticky fingers today, my apologies. Stick, there, right? And you do, you know, happy anniversary and you make your own. So you could create your own, let's just pretend that I create my own. So this is my home anniversary card that I wanna create and I wanna replace. But if I like that one, that home anniversary card that's in the campaign in real estate, just use that campaign and edit it, okay? So I'm gonna just do document, send out card, sorry, send out card campaign, I know here. And then I'm gonna go back over here and I want to change this 12 month card to be an anniversary, but maybe you're in insurance. Maybe it's the 12 months since you started business with them. Maybe you're a landscaper and you've been taking care of their property for 12 months or their CPA. I'm going to do edit. I'm going to replace card. I'm going to go down here, build your own. I'm going to click here. I'm going to customize it. I'm going to do just a quick little two panel card. And when I get to the front of this card, I'm going to pick my little upload my photo which is gonna be send out card campaign, send out card campaign, open. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna edit my card. I'm gonna say, you know, can you believe it's been 12 months? I hope everything's doing well for you. If there's anything that I can do for you, right? Whatever you're gonna edit it. And then, um, you know, maybe, Let's just say, again, I'm doing this for real estate, but it could be anything. Um, maybe what I would do on that 12 month anniversary is maybe I've got a picture with a sold sign, right? I don't know. It, it, again, this is where you can get, have some fun with it, get creative, but I'm gonna click whatever back I want on the back of this, right? This isn't appropriate because it's a Christmas one, but I change my back on here. I hit replace. And now my 12 month home anniversary, business anniversary, close of business anniversary is now here, okay? The point is you can do a lot with this. If you need help, if you need help in laying out, I would recommend you lay it out on paper. What do you wanna say to them, right? Because once you get a visual, it's kind of like when you hang your, um, um, pictures on the wall and you lay out the little papers so you know where it's going. Put your plan together. Put exactly what you want to say. Think about the strategy of what, what do I want my backs to be? What do I need to create? What pictures do I need to do? Right? Now, this is the other thing that's really cool and I don't want to go too crazy with this. Once you've attached this campaign and it's to that person, as it's sitting in the queue to go out in six months from now, do you know that you can actually go in any time prior to that person, to that card going out? So let me give you an example. You had a closing with your client and you took that fun little picture of you with your client at the closing and you want that to show up on the back or inside of your card. You literally can go into Right here, you can go into here, here. You can go into um, card history. And any of your outstanding cards would be here. You literally could click on it. You could change the back of it, save it. And now that card, when it goes out, it will actually go. You can even edit it up until the time it actually is printed and sent out. Okay, any questions? Oh, there's a couple of questions, sorry. You actually had a question in your question and answer. Oh, good. She said, and Joyce Cook answered your question. You have a question then. Um, what does that, what am I missing? So, 
she's only seeing you as a full screen, Cheyenne. She's not seeing all the panelists. So I just told her to go to the right hand corner and change. Oh, her thank view. you. Oh, Brenda, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can she see? Um, hold on just a second. Here we go. There we go. You know what we need to do? We just need to add her in. Sorry, Joyce didn't mean to leave you out in the cold, friend. Sorry. Okay. So let's now go back to, oh, geez, did I just leave my, I think I did. Oh, bugger. Hold on just a second. Uh, all right. I just lost everything that I did. So um, what I was going to finish showing you is, let me just update this because I had started another one yesterday. So uh, let me X out of here. So once I've gotten my campaign exactly as I want it, I'm going to save it. Okay. So I've taken my time. Got all the backs the way I want them. I got the cards exactly the way I want them. I got when I want them to go out. I've got it all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I can do a couple of things. Let's just say you created something super cool. Now, again, you can't do it with paid campaigns, but if you decided to maybe create your own campaign, any campaign on your own, we create campaigns all the time and we share them. All you need is the person's username and send out cards. And I literally can share that campaign to that username as long as you've created it, okay? But what I wanna do with this card is I wanna send this. This is my little campaign that I've built. Now I'm going to click my little all button. I'm gonna create it. Now I already know that it's exactly what I want because I've just I've just saved it, right? This is exactly what I want. All I do is I go down here, I add recipients. Now, if they're already in, obviously I'm just gonna pick them, right? I'm gonna say done. It's gonna show that these two people are going to get this, um, this campaign. All I have to hit is ready and send. Now, I want to show you what happens because some of you are going, oh my God, what, oh my God, if I hit the button, I hit the button, I hit the button and it's screwed up, right? Like we get, I get it. Three years later, I still get anxiety about hitting the button, okay? But I'm going to show you this. Hit the button. Ready to send. Now, it's going to, if you, depending on what plan you're on and if you've got the system package, right? Now, I have the system package upgrade. So, none of those cards, y'all, look at that. None of those cards cost me anything because they came out of my 300. So, it's going to take 10 of my system sends and, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to charge me $8.50 to send all of those. Watch this. I'm going to hit send and it's going to say, congratulations, you made the world a better place. And now I go, oh my God, I don't want those people to get those cards. That's not the right campaign. Those aren't the right people, right? Because we know they're not, right? <laughs> like those are, that's not even a campaign. So guess what you can do? You go right over here. You go into account. You go into card history. Now watch what you're going to see. See how Mary's got all these pending cards and Pedro has all these pending cards, right? They're all here sitting in queue, ready to go out. But I've screwed up. So this is what I'm going to do. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Click, 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 click. And guess what I do? I just delete them. Let me just show you, where's my delete? Uh, hold on just a second. Let me make this just a little bit smaller so I can see more of it. All right, I've got this. And see right up here where it says cancel 10 cards? Cancel. Yes. 
done, okay? I'm not gonna get charged. The cards aren't gonna go out. So if you screw up and you just assigned 50 people a five card campaign, <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh, no worries. You can go in and you can cancel stuff, okay? Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, <coughs> we are right at the hour mark. So let me see. Oh, I know one, one more thing I want to show you. So I have my, I have my catalog or excuse me, I have my campaigns and um, it's either one I purchased or one I've created. It doesn't matter what it is, but I know that I want to go in and I want to add this campaign to a group of people or to a single people. Again, all I'm going to do is send order. I'm going to select the cards that I want, but maybe I don't want all of them. Maybe I just want four. Look at that. I can just click four of those cards. I don't even have to click all of them. That's why they move. That's how when you know you hover over them and they kind of move, that means you can do something with them. But for this, I'm going to just send all of them. Again, I'm going to create the order. And I want to add it to a group of people. I'm going to just show you really quick how you can get your groups down, right? Maybe you want to add a campaign to all your past clients. Add recipients, view groups, and I'm gonna, I think I've got one in here, past clients. Let me go right here. Uh, I think I call mine Sphere A, I can't remember. So Sphere A, and then I click done, and then what it's going to do is it's going to put my people here. And all I do is ready to send. Again, go through these. Just make sure everybody's going to get something. It's going to say how many system sends it's going to take out of my balance. It's going to tell me how much my shipping is. And if I agree to it, I click send. Okay. Okay. Any questions?